Hello and welcome to Sharon Local History. In this video I want to show you one of our displays at Sharon Historical Society. It is a small display but pretty cool. We have a display on different uh, souvenir china that we collected over the years and I would like to tell you a little bit more about it. Um, so souvenir china was very popular at the turn of 20th century with advancement of transportation and people traveled more, people came to Sharon for the clear air and water and they wanted to buy some little souvenirs to remember their travels or take home for their friends and family. So here are just a few items that we have displayed. It's a collection of different things, we really depend on donations from people. So most of the time these um, pieces of China used any images that were available and at that time popular. So in 1890s photograph became quite popular and that's where the China craze started. So these incredible photographs are Sharon about 140 years ago. So imagine you're on North Main Street looking towards Chestnut. This town hall was built in 1883 and there was a policeman, department, jail, town offices, as well as incredible circular staircase that led to second floor where was huge auditorium and a stage. Um, these dishes were made for A.B. Elliot, Mrs. A.B. Elliot, that had a store in Morse Block. The Morse Block was located right across from East Chestnut Street basically where Wilbur School Apartment is now. It was a huge department store and Mrs. A.B. Elliot had her store. She was selling those commemorative dishes. Um, so we didn't have many women who had their own business in Sharon. However, we had few and Mrs. A.B. Elliot was one of them. She actually was a widow. She had three kids. Her husband died um, just a few years before she had opened her business. Um, sadly, he came to, they came to town in 1894 for his health. He was a telegrapher, you can read the last image. And um, eventually, a year after living here, unfortunately, he died. But uh, she stayed and opened the store in Morse Block. This is interesting. That is Sharon Center. Basically, it's a copy of a postcard. Um, that was Sharon, um, center of Sharon. You can see the Congregational Church on the right side. Union Church will be on the left. Another little. So this dish is a commemorative dish uh, dedicated to our Congregational Church. The first Congregational Church was across the street, where the Unitarian Church is now. Then in 1822, they built a small building house on this location. Unfortunately, that burned down. And then they built the next one, 1839, this structure that you see here. These pieces are from Sunset Lodge. Sunset Lodge was the second hotel in the location of our current community centre. At one point it was uh, destroyed by fire, but rather quickly it was rebuilt again. It was a little bit smaller, but uh, more modern. Um, the dining was a huge part of it. And as you can see, we are lucky to have a few different pieces of China. So <clears throat> this one may not be necessary uh, souvenir China, but the China that was used at the lodge. So this souvenir china cup has got a picture of Deacon Fairbanks blacksmith shop which was located where the Furnace Street is now. That property was basically very close to Stoutenham Furnace site which was colonial um, era iron foundry it's on the border of Foxborough and Sharon at that point it was called Stoutenham. It was first established in 1760s and it drew, drew attention of um, Richard Gridley and following outbreak of American Revolutionary War in 75, 1775. 
Gridley and his partners acquired the property and they started producing cannons and ammunition for, for the Continental Army. On these dishes we can say, see a mistake where it says that Sharon was home of Paul Revere, which is not the truth. So these interesting pieces were made for Whittington and Lowe store, which was that was a building that was on the current location of the CVS parking lot. It was also known eventually as Workman's Building. So these photographs are from 1890s and unfortunately it was knocked down to make a space for the parking of the 1950s. So the store was very interesting. The two gentlemen, Whittington and Lowe, were locate local entrepreneurs who were among the first occupants of the building. Uh, they had a very interesting business, interesting combination. They had a furniture store on the first floor and funeral parlor above. And the photograph, I think, is from 1885. They also had other parts of the business in the building, like a laundry, restaurant, drugstore, dance studio, as well as different meeting rooms. So this is the display. You can see how fragile the China is really. Uh, these are the outbuildings out at the Furnace Street. Uh, this is actually a beach scene. The willows at the beach, Memorial Beach. And that's the Furnace. This piece of China is a picture of Sharon Inn. The Sharon Inn. Um, it was located at the location of the current Wilbur School apartment, a little bit more to the right. Um, it was originally built in 1880s. It was very popular because it had fantastic location right on the corner of South Main and Station Street. Very short distance to the train station and post office square. And it was apparently one of the most prominent beautiful hotels in Sharon. Unfortunately, in 1920s, it was taken down by eminent domain and the Wilbur School was put in its place. There's interesting fact that Louis Dubinsky, who actually uh, eventually built Sunset Lodge that I mentioned before, he was affiliated with Sharon Inn as well. Uh, so I believe he owned it and then he bought the um, location of the Massa Park Lake Hotel that becomes Sunset Lodge. So this cute dish was made for a brand store, CF brand store, that was right in the center of town at the at 15 Post Office Square. This is the building and you can see it right there in the middle, more to the right. Um, so it was owned by Charles Francis Bryant. He was the owner and his building was general store as well as his home upstairs. It also served as the center post office in the early 1900s. Later it became Howard Mackey's first paper store and the economic grocery store, basically stop and shop kind of supermarket. At this point you know it as Bank of America. Um, interestingly, this was basically, these are the only pieces of souvenir china that have his store in the picture. This is the end of the video. I hope you had a chance to see our little display and don't be shy to see it in person. We are open three times a week. Thank you for watching Sharon Local History.